there could be there could be change, but it's a lot of money and a lot of blood. A lot of money and a lot of blood. That's how this change was put into place. So how are we gonna unchange it? Just as much money and just as much blood. It's not gonna be a nice, easy Sunday and you get your utopia. People have to die and mentalities have to die. Not only the person, but what that person thought lives in their children. So mentalities have to die along with people and then good money has to get put in good places. I was building with my man Penn earlier and I was like, yo, have you ever slept outside for a pair of sneakers? And we were laughing about there are kids sleeping in the street for a pair of sneakers. Are they sleeping in the street to make sure someone doesn't get the death penalty? If you're seen and heard, you're respected. Malcolm X said, I'm not leaving this precinct until I see his body. And what did he find in the basement of the precinct? A beat up man that needed hospital and medical attention. And he came to that precinct with 200 men. So when you get arrested, are 200 people waiting for you outside? No one cares about you. So we gonna beat you up in the corner of this cell. So that's what I learned about this country. Someone has to care about you. Different cases get different, you know, respect because a camera is on them. There's 40 Trayvon Martins you don't know about. There's 30 Mumias you have no idea about. So don't get sensitive now. There's gonna be a lot of blood and a lot of money. And that's the only way any of this is changing. Yeah, I definitely be believe that wholeheartedly that we um, have to raise the consciousness in people and equip ourselves in that way. We don't have the money or the means for war. There's a cleansing of the mind that we have to go through. Just like, so you know, mentality. There has to be a raise of consciousness to oversee this mentality that's been created. So the more we can raise our consciousness, the more clear we can see to have a better path. That's the only thing I could see for the future is like, you know, definitely looking to the children and raising them best way you could. I got all emotion. It was crazy. I said, man, I ain't never fucking with that weed again. I don't know what was in that shit. That wasn't no regular weed, man. That shit, you know, made a nigga a little sensitive, bro. You know, and I felt like, okay, here's another form of young, rebellious music that the older generation don't understand. I don't remember really a time where I wasn't, where there wasn't something out there that he was a part of that I didn't love. I don't know, man. I guess I would have to wiki like the first year that he started making music because I swear I don't remember a time in hip hop where he didn't exist. And the game will tell you, yo, we want young niggas. We want young cats in the game because uh, what it's saying is that the young ones don't know shit so we can easily manipulate them. The other ones, we call them legends and we try to usher them out the door, try to get them up out of here like, yo, y'all created already, just chill.